Hi, in this episode I thought I would change the appearance of my van a little bit, have a bit of fun. And I always thought the grill was a bit dull, so this episode's all about changing the grill. Now I just so happen to have a spare grill, as uh, I have a lot of spares. <laughs> and, uh, and I thought it's a shame to chop up a good one, but here we go. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't really like that Suzuki badge much, so I thought I'm going to cut all the centre out and not, I'm not going to do nothing too fancy, but I thought I might cut all the centre out and then re add a grill further back. So this is how I basically have gone about it. So uh, as you can see, I took a a Japanese saw that I've got because I'm a joiner and I carefully cut all the centre piece out of the white grill. So once I'd cut the centre piece out I could see that it looked quite good and, uh, and was going to work and it was still fairly sturdy so I decided to clean it up a bit and take some of the uh, the bits that were still protruding, I tend to clean them down and basically get it prepped and ready for spraying. This took a while and uh, and I had to be careful because it was it was a little bit fragile. It was stronger than I thought it was going to be, but it was still fragile. But as you can see, I started to clean it down nicely and I just really had to fill in those three pieces either at either side. So I decided to cut a piece out the centre piece that I'd cut out and I was going to um, glue those on either end and then I can fill in what's left and smooth it off. So I didn't cut too closely so that I left some to clean off so I could make an, a neat job of cleaning them off. Um, I sort of got an idea in my head where I was going with this grill to start with. Um, and so basically, it, I was just very careful. I used a chisel, file, um, just to clean it nicely and get it sort of a bit flat. And then I was going to glue something in from the back. So I ordered a, a plastic honeycomb grill to go at the back and um, while I was waiting for that to come I got got to work on filling in those three gaps and putting in a bit of um, two pack filler so that I can try and make a neat job of it. So once I'd filled it and sanded it and then filled it again and sanded it again because uh, I'm just trying to get out some of the imperfections um, it was coming together nicely and then I was just waiting for the, the grill to come and and to, I need to spray it up obviously but before I could spray it up I'd got to think of how I was going to fix the grill. Now as you can see the grill pattern was I was quite lucky it came and it was the, it was quite close together the pattern it was quite tight. So I decided to glue in some white blocks using hot melt. Now I'm a bit worried about using hot melt because obviously if it got too warm at some point they might move. So I put plenty of them on to fix into. And then I started cutting down the, the sheet to size. And uh, it was quite easy to do. I just used a chisel. And uh, this is obviously before I cut it down properly but as you can see there I've, I've pretty much got the shape then and then that allowed me to see where I could get screws in into my white blocks. Now the reason I used so many white blocks was because I figured that if one of the blocks let go there's plenty of others to, to hold it in place. Um, it, it shouldn't really be coming under a lot of stress but you know you never know what what might fly into it when you're driving and uh, so I thought it was best to to have quite a few fixings. 
So when I was happy that I was going to be able to fix the grill, okay, I decided to spray it. So I'd done a couple of coats of primer. Um, and then I applied the actual van colour, which I think is cat's eye blue. And uh, and then I'd done a, a couple of coats of, of a lacquer as well, just to give it a bit of a shine. Uh, I did have a bit of trouble because it kept raining, but um, I'm quite happy with the results. Um, you know, I sprayed the inside as well, just in case you could see any any anything, because I didn't want the white showing through anywhere. But um, no, I was quite happy with how it, how it looked. And then I was excited to uh, fit the grill. So when it came to fitting the grill, um, previously I had stripped down some of the spares that I'd got and I'd got loads of proper Suzuki screws that were out of the, the dashboard and uh, so I decided to use them so I got some drills to do some decent pilots and I made it so they just pull up but they're not really forcing the blocks because I realised the blocks would just come off if I give it if I give them too much stick and it worked a treat and as you can see I got quite a few fixings in and it was very secure and I was really happy with it. So couldn't wait to get it on the van. So here's a before and after shot and I'm still undecided whether to fit a Suzuki badge or some sort of badge on the grill. Uh, if you think I should, you can put some suggestions in the comments if you like. Um, if you like this video, you, you should perhaps check out some of my other videos. Uh, basically just guides to having a bit of fun with your van and keeping it alive. Uh, I was very happy with how this looked and um, it didn't really require that much effort. And you don't have to do it like mine. You can pick a different grill or you can do what you like with it. I, I, I did think of doing the whole lot black for instance, which I might do at some point. Um, I have got another bonnet, so I might do something with that at a later date. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with it and uh, enjoyed making the grill. And I, th I think it's come out quite, quite well. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, as I say, if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. Want to like it, that'd be good as well. And... Uh, I've still got plenty of other ideas, so there'll be other videos coming, and uh, I hope to see you on a future video.